Scorpio, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Sun, Moon, Rising, as always, and as always, take the bits that resonate. Okay. Let's see what's going on for the sign of Scorpio. Cold logical decision. I fear you, a lot of you, have come to breaking point with a situation, certain person. It's all changed for you. You've been very logical, very analytical about this. There's some speculation going on here. Okay. Communication between you and somebody is very cold. Okay, there's a person from your past, or oh, this could be going back seven, eight, nine, ten years. Okay, that you've been set, the energy's been so scattered, and there is a chance to finally let the situation develop naturally and find its own level. Okay, somebody here has been trying to force a situation, connection, past its natural level. Mm. What else have we got? Yeah, communication. You do feel you're being manipulated, okay. You, you do feel you're being held up. Now, perhaps some of you are waiting on a legal decision. Okay, but something has changed in you and something has changed in the situation. I feel a lot of you have been carrying responsibility that's not yours to carry. Even in work, there's been somebody who has been overbearing and just loading you more and more and more and more. You're trying to manifest something new, applying for new jobs. Either way, there's a situation here that you don't want to be in anymore. Hmm. There was happiness in the past. Mm. Somebody in the past was being very self-indulgent. I'm kind of getting they kept you around or they were around you more for their benefit than yours. You do view somebody as being selfish. You do. Your feelings have changed though. There's been some incidents in the past where you've learned a very hard emotional lesson and now you're protecting your own feelings. You've been doing a lot of reevaluating about your life and situations. Okay, it's like you're waiting on somebody. You're waiting for somebody to make their mind up. There's an opportunity here. For a lot of you, possibly a work opportunity. You feel you want to follow it. Okay, but this means relocating another country. You know, yeah. Finally making a decision to act. No more contemplating. Yeah, there's been a lot of changes taking place. There's still some changes to take place. There's a conversation going to take place. Okay. And I'm kind of getting it will bring you some kind of closure on the past with a situation or person, whatever that may be, whether you're married or not, you know, whether it's a work situation. There's somebody here. There's been a comfort zone and now you've finally got the courage, the strength, to follow your own heart, okay, follow your own intuition. You do feel you've been held back. There's a player type energy that keeps coming in and out of your life for some of you, you know, and you want to leave this player type energy. 
Yeah. Looks like somebody's going to come in unexpected. But you'll be very, very cautious. You see, you've been hurt in the past. Now, this could be the return of somebody from the past, okay? There's definitely somebody here who you've got a history with wants to reconnect, but very differently. It's kind of like a fresh approach. Hmm. Yeah. As I say, they do live at a distance. They're not living near you. What this situation will enable you to do going forward is come to terms with the past. Finally bring closure on it one way or the other. Okay. You're certainly assessing the situation, weighing up the pros and cons. You know, the opportunity you've been hoping for is finally coming round. Now, some of you are already in a connection situation where there's a certain amount of commitment. Okay. And it's leaving that for something new. It's stepping out of your comfort zone. But for a lot of you, there's a past person here. You've been going round and round and round and round and round, giving them chance after chance after chance after chance. Mm. They certainly know what buttons to press with your feelings. Kind of getting a lot of you are going to leave this well alone. So you just want stability. And finally, what I'm getting for some of you is, you know, this person who's been in and out of your life, you've met somebody new, or there's a new friendship developing, and then they come back in. Now you're having to make a decision. You're thinking longevity though now. You're not thinking quick fixes. Your attitude's changing. You're taking much more time to think about it. Some of you aren't even interested in this person from the past anymore. You just want it done and dusted. You've been struggling with it way too long. You're being very cautious. Actually, instead of a lot of backtracking and going round and round and round, giving multiple chances, this time I feel once you've made your mind up, you're not going to change it again. And that in itself will bring a paradoxal feeling of independence and a certain amount of stability. But a lot of you are relocating or would like to. There's a chance here. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching.